In this example, we will create two error messages, which will only be displayed if the first input field is left empty or if a wrongly formatted email is typed in. If the input fields are filled in correctly, green checkboxes will be displayed. To reproduce the example, open a web prototype that contains a login screen with name and email input fields and a submit button. Drag a text box and an OK Green icon from the iOS 9 widget library to the canvas. Write, this field is mandatory in the text box. Drag another OK Green icon and an text box to the canvas. Write, please enter a valid email address in the second text box. Select all these elements, align them, and change their styles as desired. Mark them all as hidden in the Properties tab. Select the Submit button and go to the Events tab. Add an Ong tab and Show event. Select the first text box, containing the first error message. Click OK to go back to the canvas. Add an action to the one you've just created. This will be an Ong tab and Hide event. Select the first OK green icon and click OK. In the Events tab, on the left of the event that you've just created, select the Add Condition option. You will be prompted by the Expression Builder, where you'll define the error validation. In this case, we are going to check if the first input field is empty. To do so, drag the first input field to the first position in the Expression Builder. Drag the equals function to the second position. From the constants tab, drag the text constant to the third position. The text constant is empty by default. Click OK. Now if the user leaves the input text field empty, the error message will be displayed and the green tick icon will be hidden. Back in the events tab, on the right of the event, select the else option. Here, you'll define what happens when the input field is not left empty. Add an on tap and hide event. Select the text box. Click OK. Go back to the Events tab and add another action to the one you've just created. This will be an on click and show event. Select the OK green icon and click OK. Now, when the user writes something in the input text field, the green checkbox will be displayed and the error messages will be hidden. Back to the canvas, add an on tap and show event. Select the second text box. Click OK to go back to the canvas. Add another action to the one you've just created. This will be an on tap and hide event. Select the second green checkbox and click OK. On the left of the event, select the Add Condition option. Drag the Not function to the first position in the Expression Builder. Drag the Regular Expression function to the second position. Drag the second input field to the third position. From the Constants tab, drag the Email constant to the fourth position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add an On tap and Hide event. Select the second text box. Click OK. Go back to the Events tab and add another action to the one you've just created. This will be an On tap and Show event. Select the second OK green icon and click OK. And that's it. Click Simulate to see and interact with your example. You will see that you must enter both a name and a valid email address to complete the form successfully.